Hi guys! So, yes, my hair is doing some crazy things. So as you guys can probably tell, I am not in my regular habitat. My hair is freaking out about it. So we're gonna deal with this for the duration of the video. We are also going to wait for about 15 planes to go over. So today I thought I would just do like a little tag video. Um, I haven't done one of those in a little while and I really like doing them. The one I have found today is the small YouTuber tag. There's not a lot of questions, so this shouldn't be a very long video, and I'm going to be referring to my phone for all of the questions. Okay, so question number one asks, what inspired you to start making YouTube videos? Um, well, I was watching YouTube videos for a few years, and I just loved them. Um, and a friend of mine at college at the time as well, she kind of introduced me to YouTube and she had made a few YouTube videos herself and just seeing her make them and then watching YouTube videos, I realized that this is something I'd actually really, really love to do. And I wanted to do it for a long time, but I had a skin condition that made me very self-conscious about the way that I looked and I didn't feel like I could put myself on camera. In that time though, I did keep a video diary and I kept pictures of of my skin condition and as I was going through so many different kinds of treatments, so many different kinds of medication, I had to go to hospital for it and I dealt with so many side effects and it literally controlled my entire life and it was kind of the final push that was like, okay, well, I want to start a YouTube channel anyway, why not use this? Because I had to go through so many side effects and it was horrible and there was nobody that I had really in my life who had been through the same thing or could offer any kind of advice or what to expect. My goal for creating this channel was to use those pictures and use those video diaries and share that with the world and share that with people who are going through the same thing, trying to offer advice and share my experience in the best way that I can to maybe try and help someone who is going through the same thing, whether it is with advice or whether it's just knowing what to expect. I have been building myself up to put those videos and those pictures out there on the internet and I do plan on doing it soon, hopefully. That is what inspired me to actually start making videos and put myself on the internet is because I wanted to share my experience. It's just taken me a lot longer to get around to doing that than I thought it would. Question number two is how long have you been on YouTube and have you had other channels? I think I've been on YouTube just over a year now. I have two channels on YouTube that I post videos on. I have this channel which is like my main channel and I also have a vlog channel that will be linked in the description box. My first ever video that I posted on YouTube was on my vlog channel. I'll put a link to that too in the description box. It's not very interesting. I'm not even in it. I just was kind of practicing. Yeah, ironically that was a trip to hospital while I was on medication for my skin condition. Question number three asks, where do you see yourself and your YouTube channel in five years time? In five years time, um, I will have made my videos about my skin condition and about all of the medication that I went through. Hopefully that will have helped people. In five years time, I don't know, hopefully the channel can grow and I can get much better at filming videos, I need a new camera, I need some actual lighting. You know, I would love to have a proper professional setup because I genuinely enjoy making YouTube videos. I hope to in five years still be around on the internet, still making YouTube videos, hopefully better quality YouTube videos. You never know, maybe in that space of time I may be able to do YouTube as a job so that I can work from home, which is something that has always been a dream of mine, and being able to do that would enable me more time at home where I could write my books, which is really what I want to be doing with my life. That's like my life goal, is to be a published author, so I mean, I'd love to do YouTube as a job, but if my channel could enable me to work from home and write my books as well, that would just be life goals. <laughs> Question number four asks, what message are you trying to get across with your videos? Um, I guess it kind of depends on the video. If it's something that's just like a lush video, which I do quite a few of those, it's generally just a feel-good 
happy video. It's a form of entertainment for 10, 15 minutes and that's really all those videos really are, are like entertainment and it gives me a chance to kind of just chat to you guys. Other videos like my videos where I talk about mental health, those usually have a message in themselves and the same thing goes for videos where I've talked about bullying or I've talked about having a physical illness like my skin condition and with those kinds of videos I guess the message I really want to put across is that you are never on your own in what you are going through. You never need to feel alone in what you're going through. There is always, always help out there regardless of whether it is a bullying situation that you are going through, if it is a mental illness, if it is a physical illness, there is always, always help and support out there. You do not have to go through anything by yourself and you are not the only person who has been through this. Question number five asks, do people from school find your channel? Um, yes, actually, I have seen a few names that I recognise from school popping up in the um, new subscribers box. I mean, some of it is people who I still speak to and some of it is people that I have not seen since school. So that was quite surprising, but um, it doesn't really make me self-conscious in any way. It doesn't make me want to put out videos any less. If anything, because of the nature of some of my videos when I talk about bullying and mental health and things that genuinely can help people and I have been told have helped people. To be honest, the more people that message reaches, the more people who are learning about mental health, spreading awareness of bullying and speaking about those things openly, the more people that are taking part in that, that is brilliant, that is fantastic, keep it coming. <laughs> Question number six asks, what does your username mean? So my main channel is Catflix and Crystals. A lot of that came from my inspiration when I very first started watching YouTube videos. I used to watch a lot of makeup videos and those were originally some of the videos that I was like, I would love to make makeup videos. I would love to do this. So it just kind of seemed fitting to have that in the title, something to do with makeup, and the makeup that I wear every single day that I do not leave my house without is these cat flicks. And crystals, I, I love crystals, I'm wearing crystals, I have books on crystals, I have loose crystals, I mean they're packed away somewhere at the moment, but I do have them, and I don't know, they just fascinate me and I love them. Crystals represent different things and they can represent different aspects of your personality. They can also represent healing. And the two together, you know, the cat flicks and the crystals, it's like the makeup and the healing, the fun stuff and then the serious stuff. It's kind of both things that I want to be doing on this channel and I just liked having that in the title. And then plus you've got the alliteration and who doesn't like alliteration? Uh, my vlog channel is called Diamonds and Dragons, and again, alliteration. Um, diamonds is, again, on the same level as the crystals. It's beautiful, it represents all of the same things, and dragons... I'm obsessed with dragons. I, I genuinely am obsessed with dragons. I love them so, so much. Everyone in my life who really knows me knows that I am obsessed. I just have a dragon obsession. So it kind of represents more of my personality and I feel like, I don't know, maybe I thought you'd see that more in the vlogs than maybe on the main channel where I have, not a script, but when I sit down and I plan the videos that I'm gonna film, rather than just being free to turn the camera on and c carry on with my day filming a vlog, you know what I mean? And the two together, Diamonds and Dragons, sounds like Dungeons and Dragons, and call me a geek, I don't care, but I was obsessed with the original cartoon series, Dungeons and Dragons. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Archer, Barbarian, Magician, Thief, Cavalier and Acrobat. As you guys can tell, I watch that constantly. I don't care, I'm proud to be a nerd, I'm proud to be a geek if loving Dungeons and Dragons makes me that. Like, I watched those cartoon series, I had all of the DVDs, I had all of them, and I would just binge watch them back to back, doing nothing else with my life. I love them so much, so I don't know, I liked having 
Diamonds and Dragons because it was kind of my version of the title. I don't know, I just liked it. It reminded me of Dungeons and Dragons and nobody else I know seems to have ever watched the original cartoons and I'm just like, but how? They're so good. <laughs> Question number seven asks, favorite small YouTuber? Okay, so I'm not sure exactly what qualifies for being a small YouTuber or small YouTube channel. Um, but there are a few smaller YouTube channels that I do watch, so I'm just going to kind of list them. Kelly Jane, she is a friend of mine and I would love to do a collaboration at some point. She has been on YouTube longer than I have, her videos are much better quality. Flicker de poop um, again, another friend of mine, she makes ASMR videos. I do have an ASMR channel myself, I probably should have mentioned that on the do you have any other channels on YouTube question. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that one. It's because it's been a while since I posted anything on that one. I love ASMR, I love watching ASMR videos. Um, not too many people really understand what ASMR videos are, but she is one of the people who genuinely does, and she just makes ASMR videos. And I will say she is also incredible at makeup, but whether she will post a makeup video, I've been trying to encourage her to do that, but... Another small YouTuber who I wouldn't say I watch regularly, but I have watched quite a few of her videos, is Elza Rydell. I actually found her channel when she commented on one of my videos. I can't remember which video it was that she commented on. She said that she made videos as well, so I went to have a look, and this is going back a while now, but one of the first videos of hers that I watched was just her sitting down. I think the video is uncut, unedited, and she's just speaking about mental health and what it's like living with a mental illness. And to see someone speaking just so openly, so bluntly and honestly and so real is just, it's just so good to see people not afraid to speak like that because there is such a taboo on mental illness that it needs to be talked about, that taboo needs to be gone and she is one of the people who is slowly making a difference with that. Um, and the last small YouTube channel that I watch quite regularly if there's videos is Bethany Gray Shaw Makeup. Stunning. Absolutely stunning so good with makeup and I just love watching her videos. She is like hair goals. I will leave links to all of these channels down in the description box if you guys want to go and check out any of them. Oh and that is all of the questions. Thank you guys for spending this time with me. I hope you're having a really great day. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more tag videos from me and I will see you next time in my next video.